What's up, Seashells? It's Shelby, and I am back with another video. And in today's video, we will be talking about the thing that people have been requesting the most your skincare routine. Shelby, what is the product that you use to clean your skin? Shelby, what is the skincare routine? Okay. I know, I know. I know I said I was going to post it. This would not be an and I'm Shelby video if you do not hear something abnormal in the background. But don't worry, I'm going to get a camera soon and a mic, eliminate all of that. But anyways, let's get back to the meat of the matter. Okay. You're here because you want to know the product. Fine, I get it. But the thing is, another reason why I held off on doing this video is because I wanted to make sure I'm not just telling you guys to go and buy something because it worked for me. Everybody's skin is different. Everybody's skin has different needs. I don't want you to say, Shelby, some of you use this, so I'm gonna use it, and then enough is frig up. I wanna blame me. I'm not a dermatologist. I don't know nothing about skin like that. Okay, I'm just doing the trial and error just like you guys, trying to figure out how I can make my skin zero to 100 okay all right so we're just going to get into what i do first of all um yeah i'm gonna insert clips of me actually doing this routine because one day i just got up and was doing the routine i said why not just film it like in real time not just for a video but what i actually do so first thing i'll do is cleanse and i use the bioware cleanser this is the rose quartz and the charcoal one. I used to use just the charcoal one, but then I saw this rose quartz one. I was like, hmm, let's try. Um, mind you, people keep asking me, does the cleanser work? Does the cleanser work? I don't know if the cleanser works. It just cleans my face. It does nothing significant. I just like it because when I use it, it has this tingly feeling on the face. And I like that. I like that. And along with it, I use most times, not all the time, I use this spin brush from Duval. So this is the Duval Radiance Spin Care System. It has an exfoliating brush, a daily brush, a body brush for when you're in the shower, and a pumice, pumice, pum, pumice. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, them something that you use for your foot bottom or your elbow, or yeah, for your big toe, yeah that this is what i use on a daily to wash my face and if you would like to purchase this spin care system you can use my code shelby 70 off of course i'm going to be putting it on the screen and in the description box so yeah if you want that brush i got i got the coupon code for you so i use the brush along with this cleanser and i wash my face for at least a minute if you are not using a brush use your hands and literally wash your face for a whole minute it makes a difference if you just go in the bathroom and, shh, shh, and wash it off all that dirt is not gone I guarantee so take the time and actually wash your face get all that dirt off right right so after I do that I leave my face wet because I go in with another tool which is the ultrasonic exfoliating skin scrubber from touch beauty and this basically it's like a blackhead remover but to be honest it doesn't really get rid of my blackheads because it's they're still there but it does get rid of the white heads you know like when they push up your nose and you go like that and you said look a white something that might come out your nose yeah it gets rid of all of that and when i tell you it does make a difference in my in my skin now because i'm getting rid of that stuff and all that gunk is not sitting in my pores on my face <sighs> when i tell you that skincare is an investment don't look at it as an expense because the results afterward then just really make you feel like that bitch this skin scrubber you know when you just get it it does have a little sticker on it that says you know turn it on and the part where it says to adjust the speed it doesn't really adjust much but you know it's there um you just hold it at a like 45 degree angle and you either go up the face down the face and you know get into the curves i'm sure you guys are seeing the video at this point 
but yeah I'm just you know letting y'all know how to use it and definitely do not use this on dry skin when you are trying to remove the blackheads the whiteheads if you're removing anything from the face do not use it on dry skin and use it after you cleanse reason why you're using it after you after you cleanse is because you're trying to open up the pores wow i'm talking with my hands a lot anyways yeah you're trying to open up the pores so all that gunk can come out easily so yeah use it after you cleanse when the skin is moist or wet you can either use a toner or water i use water and i re-wet my face every now and then when i'm using it because of course the water will dry up not too too wet now but moist so after i do that you know rinse off my face again and i either let it air dry or i use a paper towel and dry my face i don't use towels on my face at all because towels carry bacteria and after me do all of that work i use a towel on my face what is the per well, what was the sense of washing my face that made literally no sense whatsoever so do that with a paper towel or you're sitting in front of your fan and make it air dry. That's normally what I do because I can't be able to put anything on my face at all. Now here's the thing y'all be waiting for. The Holy Grail product that is currently saving my life. This little thing right here. This is the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% serum from The Ordinary. Um... I, I I just didn't know what else to do at this point and I know this girl named Tiffany she has her online skin care store is that what you call it anyways it's called the skin fairy dot ja on Instagram that's where I purchased this from you should go and support her and get all your products from her but yeah we will come back to she we talk about this you said this product this was my holy grail like I literally messaged her and said Tiffany, I need, I need, I need something. I need something because you know she's like some skin guru and fair skin well clean. So me trust she, me trust her. And then she told me to get this along with the salicylic acid two percent mask. Now I use this niacinamide every single day, at least once a day, but preferably twice a day. I only use it once a day when I'm extremely lazy or um, I'm just but I wasn't home to do it or whatever but when I tell you first of all let me tell you what it has done for me before I tell you what it's supposed to do so the first time I used it it is recommended that you get a patch test or you do a patch test you know just rub it on a small area to see how the product reacts to your skin to see if it reacts positively or negatively so you can know if you should continue or discontinue use so me skip that step because at this point i was like if the face frig up the face frig up it done frig up already it is what it is so watch my face make sure it was dry because you're supposed to use this on dry skin it's not supposed to be moist whatsoever so you know i put like three drops so one on the left one on the right and one on my forehead and then i just rubbed it in it is a very weird consistency for a serum it's not really smooth and I realized that after a while of rubbing it in it gets a little bit sticky um it is also a bit drying which is why you should also go in afterwards with a moisturizer or your sunscreen or whatever but yeah I realized that after the first day of using this my skin broke out because I didn't use it alone I used it along with the mask and the mask from the seat from the something say do not use it for longer than than what da, 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 da. is it 10 minutes yes don't use it for longer than 10 minutes me for it because i'm like normally with other normal masks i'm using it for like 30. i just keep it on my face until i feel like washing it off but this specifically says no longer than five to ten minutes i literally use it five i never got a full 10 minutes um it kind of it kind of burns not really burn it's not a tingly mint feeling either it's like it's a little bit uncomfortable which is why I don't keep it on my face for too long I don't know if that's it reacting negatively to my skin but I really doubt it because every time I use it like for example if I forget to use the niacinamide one night 
then the next morning I will go in with this mask and by the end of the day or the next day face is looking good it's like I use this when I miss out on the nice cinema which is not very often um, you should only be using this once to twice a week that's the mask and I just honestly use it just once a week because we free like bad <laughs> I don't want it to do anything to my skin so yeah that's that after using these products for like a month because I have been using it for I think about a month now um, I realized that my skin is not as oily my I have the oiliest skin in the world I didn't want to put on moisturizer because of oh 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 <clears throat> because of how <laughs> oily my skin was but this it helped to control the oiliness also my skin had a little bit of texture to it especially on the cheeks because those are my problem areas and uh, barely any texture there now it is smooth like a baby's butt like like I cannot believe that this is my skin like I cannot believe remember when I told you guys that this these products it actually broke out my skin the day after I used it for the first time and I saw those bumps and I was like Jesus Christ oh. but I also I also like to give products a chance and I've heard good things about the ordinary so I said you know what probably I'm purging because sometimes when you switch from using what you're used to and using a new product your skin needs time to adjust to it so it can it, you know you know that saying it has to get worse before it gets better yeah it was one of those situations so you know my face was horrible for like the first couple of days and then by the weekend I realized that those bumps were going down and my skin was looking great like the improvement in the short amount of time like a week I was within a week I'm seeing improvements I have never been that lucky with a product in my life so I was like okay this seems like it I'm gonna continue and I waited and waited and waited it's now a month because honestly I didn't want to review this product or tell you guys to go and buy this within like two weeks next thing you know after two weeks it stopped working for me you know because some products these companies do make them temporarily work and you have to buy all types of th things to get your skin back in order but this this has been working for me I absolutely love it like yes the dark marks however they are not completely gone I do realize that they have you know faded a little bit but not to the point where I can say wow these pots are gone but you know I talked to Tiffany again and she did say um, there was another product I could use so I'm actually gonna get that product and try that along with the others that I have right now and see what can go on apparently there are sunspots because I don't be using sunscreen ever unless I'm going to the beach and even if I do go to the beach I don't wear sunscreen so it's really I guess that's really it because I, I always wondered like why do I have these dark marks and I don't have that much acne for there to be marks left from that so I may not really know all of the terms still you know sunspots hyperpigmentation god he knows what it is that's why I tell you I leave all this stuff to Tiffany I take a picture of my face and I send it to her say sis I don't know what is going on help me so yeah these are basically <laughs> my holy grail products these are the miracle products that helped my face get from 0 to 85 because it's not at 100 yet but you know so almost there so yeah that's basically it after I use these products I then go in with my moisturizer which is the Aveeno daily moisturizer um, with SPF how much ever I don't remember right now but yeah use the sunscreen if you're going on the road and use your moisturizer if you know you're not going anywhere you have to have to have to use sunscreen with this product even though mine expire must still use it just because I feel like a little bit of something still at work I don't know Tiffany said that it's not working but I don't know so yeah that's pretty 
pretty much it um also my face will look different indoors versus outdoors so when i'm indoors you will more likely be able to see the dark marks you know all of that stuff but when i'm in the sun you will see nada it would look like god just set your girl skin no problems nothing that will happen to your face just take this perfect creation have it enjoy it this is what i look like in the sun and i'm happy that i'm at this stage because a long time me not see my face like this i don't think i've ever seen my face this clear in my life so yeah wow this video is 18 minutes long i don't know how i'm gonna cut it down because i felt like everything i said was important and y'all needed to hear it so yeah if you like this video or you want to keep up to date with my skincare journey because this will not be the last time i'll be speaking about this Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and leave your suggestions down in the comments for other video ideas. Click the bell so you can. And which way? It then. Click the bell so you can get notified every single time I post a video. And see you in the next one. Bye.